And you'll love the fact that we're, we're, tr we're still fighting. You'll love the fact that we're all here and we haven't forgotten about him. A daughter refuses to let her father's memory fade tonight as she pushes to find whoever murdered him outside of a Little Rock motorcycle club. Thanks for joining us at 5. I'm Ashley Katz. Well, good evening. I'm Bob Clausen. Caregiver for Susan L. Corey speaking with the family as they try to keep the case from going cold. And Susan, what's interesting here is that there was an arrest made at one point. Yeah, Bob and Ashley, police did make an arrest about two years ago, but ended up dropping those charges. And ever since then, the family of Clyde Hatchett tells me they feel like they're just back at square one. It's not gonna take away the pain. Reaching for relief. He kind of weep me when I wear. Maya Hatchett keeps her dad's memory close. Every day, you really can't catch me without it. Wearing his name around her neck ever since he died. I'm thinking, that's not my dad. Pictures show Clyde Hatchett on the motorcycle he loved. But that ended two years ago when Little Rock police say the 45 year old was stabbed outside this motorcycle club. Just want justice, that's all. Police initially arrested this man, Kenneth Lee, charging him with murder, but later said there wasn't enough evidence for that charge to stick. Family still believes there's someone out there who knows what happened in this parking lot. Still waiting. Without any new leads, the family fears they'll never get the answer they're desperate for. His murder is still out here. Living, living their life. Leaving this daughter reflecting on everything she's lost. And you'll love the fact that we're, we're, tr we're still fighting. And you'll love the fact that we're all here and we haven't forgotten about him. The family tells me the club parking lot was packed the night of Hatchett's murder. And they're hoping pictures or videos people were taking can help give them the answer they need. Back to you.